Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris and today we're gonna take apart this heater and fix it. Let's do this real quick. Now, just so you know, what I think is wrong with this heater is it's probably the thermal cutoff or a loose connection, one of the two. Now, what this heater is actually doing, let me see if I can actually get it to do what it's doing. Go to turn it on and nothing. I was giving a whack on the side and it was working. I mean, like, right, it's broken. You, you hit it hoping to fix it. That's usually the way that stuff works, right? That's, that's how it all works. But what that makes me think is one, the thermal cutoff is bad or there's a loose connection. One or the other, and we'll dig into this thing and find out. But what this heater was actually doing was that it would turn on for a little bit and then shut off and then shut off completely. As in like the thermal cutoff actually started to do its job when it shouldn't be doing its job and cut the power to the unit altogether. So we're gonna take a look at this thing and well, let's let's just open it up. I'm doing too much talking. Definitely make sure it's unplugged first. I mean, obviously I shouldn't have to say that. Now I see four clips here, so we're gonna start by taking those out and off. Okay, so one of two things is gonna happen. This is gonna slide right out and there's gonna be a nice long cable going to the control panel in the front or we gotta kind of pop the control panel out as well. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Let's see, does it move? Oh, it moves, it moves. Be careful, because there might be a connection still. You don't want to ruin that connection. Yep, I can feel something now. When you can't see inside there, I think it's time to send in the phone. Uh, if you have really big hands, this isn't gonna work. And I wouldn't recommend it this way. I'll figure out a different way. But I'm taking the screws off of the control board so that now, Everything should just slide right out. Oh. Be careful when pulling it out of there. Don't let it slam like that. That's not going to help anything. Okay, I want to get at this side of the unit. I'm thinking that the thermal couple is on this side. 50-50 chance. Let's see what we can do. Now, just so you know, there is risk of electrical shock when doing this stuff. I mean, there's warnings all over this unit saying not to take it apart and such like that. Uh, biggest thing is just don't touch any capacitors because they will hold the charge and uh, it's not going to be too fun if you do touch them. And if you don't know what they look like, just stay away from all electrical components to begin with. Oh, this cable for the control board. It zip tied on the inside. That's why I couldn't pull it out of there. Just real quick, you got your blower fan back here. You got your heating elements. You got your thermal cutoff. That's the culprit here is the thermal cutoff. That should be your rollover switch or your tip over switch. So I'm gonna take this thermal cutoff out and see if I can get some numbers off of it. All right, so there you go. There's your thermal cutoff. So replace it. Uh, you could jump it if you want, although I don't recommend that just for safety reasons because this thermal cutoff is there for a reason. If for some reason the heaters get too hot, that thermal, thermal cutoff is, well, it, it's kind of like a thin disc in there and it's making contact right now. So when it gets too hot, it warps, breaks the contact, shuts everything off for you. You could jump it if you wanted to. It's simple enough to do. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. And, um, just, I'm not gonna be liable if you jump it, put it that way. So, replace that thing and you should be back in business. And if you're looking for a way to test the thermal cutoff, go ahead, get your multimeter, put it on ohms, and then obviously with the power off to the unit, unplugged, see if you have continuity. If you have continuity between the terminals, you should be okay, but the problem is when you shake this thing, you lose continuity for whatever reason that disc in there is flopping around and I'm not going to take this apart till I get the new part so maybe we'll take that apart and see what's inside it, and it's really not much like I said it's just a disc in there <sighs> so there you go so let me put this thing back together and we'll be done for today give me one second all right now the true test let's see if we can plug this in and it works you know I mean if it works we did a good job gotta unplug my light Ooh, it's a beep. That's a good sign. All right, we at least got power. Yeah, I hear the heater running. Take one minute 
I'll fast forward here just to make sure that it actually heats up. I mean, there's no reason why it shouldn't. If that thermocouple's work, thermocouple, if that thermal cutoff is working right now, the unit's got power. If it wasn't working, there'd be no power at all. So I think we're pretty much done here. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, I forgot. If you're looking for that thermocouple, check the link in the description. I should have it in there just to make it a little bit easier, provided that it's still available. Uh, man, finding this stuff sometimes be a pain in the butt. All right, I'll see you on the next one.